أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أب القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيته الأطيبين الأنجبين بهم نتولى ومن أعدائهم نتبرأ إلى الله اللهم كن وليك الخجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك توغا وتمتعه فيها طويلا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعجل فرجهم It's the fourth session of uh, the tafsir of uh, Ziyarat Ali Yaseen and it was mentioned this is one of those beautiful ziyarat that if you wish to address Imam Al-Asr alayhi salatu wasalam you can address him with this ziyarat and it is a prescription that has been advised by the Imam himself that if you intend to seek the Almighty Allah to get closer to him or you want to, you intend to get to the Imams alayhi salam Imam says, come to us via this ziyarat. So we talked a little bit about this beautiful phrase which said, As-salamu alayka ya baab Allah wa dayyana deenah. Salam be upon you, the Imam, the door to Allah. Baab Allah, the door to Allah. Wa dayyana deenah and the guardian of his religion. Now this term Dayyan, Dayyan it was mentioned, it's the name of Allah wa ta'ala, that he is that whole soul guardian, the authority. And when I say that Dayyana Dineh to the Imam, he is the guardian of the religion, uh, it means that he is the one who alladhi yudinu al-ibad wa yudzihim bi'amalihim, that is he is the one now this is the definition that we find uh, in in our in the riwayat that he is the one the yan means one who pays the servants and rewards for their deeds and the yan means punishment and reward so imams they are the authority that allah has placed them uh, to punish and to reward now to punish and to reward, if you um, look back into the ayat of Qur'an, there we've got these two terms uh, and both of them they have been addressed to Rasulullah like Bashir and Nazir. That is the Prophet, he has two tasks upon him. That is Mubashir, he gives the good news, the glad tiding uh, of the hereafter being rewarded in the form of heaven. And then Nazir, and he warns you as well. He warns you of the wrath, of the punishment, of the consequences of how people would end in the hell. So Rasulullah is Nazir and also Bashir. He gives the good news and he also gives you and he also warns you. And also the ayat of Quran, you see that whenever Allah uh, he talks about the hell or the punishment, he quickly switches to the rewards and the and the benefits that will be given to those who will be rewarded in the heaven. So Allah also uh, uh, talks in the same way. Rasulullah also has the same attributes and titles like Bashir and Nazir. And over here, when I say to the Imam alayhi salam, Assalamu alaykum ya Bab Allah wa Dayya Nadine, Salam be upon you, the door of Allah and Dayyana Deenah that is someone who will reward and punish um, now in Arabic we've got this term um, you must have heard it it says Kama Tudinu Tadanu in English you have this uh, proverb which says as you sow so shall you reap so if you plant garlic you will definitely not get cilantro so it's garlic if you plant it's garlic you harvest you get so in arabic you say kama tudinu tudanu 
as you sow so shall you reap whatever you plant is what you will harvest over here also it's the same that is kama tudinu tudanu that is when you as you do as you live as you work or whatever your actions would be the consequences and the reward also will be based upon how we have performed if it was good in the form of good and god forbid if it was bad or not satisfactory then it will be in the form of punishments and wrath so the gyan it is the name of allah tbarak wa taala and the meaning of that it is al hakam al qadi that is he is the judge uh, and then when it was inquired from amirul mu'minin uh, was su'il ba'd as-salaf an ali ibn abi talib some of them they inquired about imam ali faqala kana dayyan dayyan hadhihi al umma that amirul mu'minin was the dayyan of this nation after rasulullah that is qadiha wa hakimaha that is imam ali was the judge imam ali was the ruler of this nation after rasulullah so when i say to imam mahdi assalamu alayka ya bab allah that is salam be upon you the door to allah wa dayyana dine it means the judge of his religion the means the ruler <coughs> of the almighty allah on the surface of this earth now inshallah we'll come to this point today that there are so many ayat in quran that talk about imam mahdi alayhi salam his designation uh, here inshallah we'll come to that point as well now amirul mu'minin uh, to him rasulullah he says that ya ali anta dayyan hadhihi al umma wa shahid alayha that is ali you are the dayyan now the um, easy meaning of that that you can have in your mind is the guardian is the custodian ali you are the guardian you are the custodian of this nation wa shahid alayha and you are a witness on this nation now we talked about this being a witness on the nation what does that mean it was mentioned in the previous session that rasulullah is a witness uh, to whatever we are doing and then allah tbarak wa taala he will question the prophet for our actions because rasulullah is a witness now amir rasulullah says after him amir al mu'minin is a witness and in this day and age it is imam mahdi alayhi salam who is a witness who sees what we are doing who hears what we are saying he is totally aware and he is that watchful eye of the almighty allah and he is that he that ear which hears that hears everything and he is totally aware of what is happening in this entire creation of the almighty allah now in ziyarat jamiat al kabira we did uh, have some sessions on that ziyarat as well uh, last year there there's a phrase which says wa mirasun nubuwwati indakum miras means even the prophets they have an inheritance now inheritance means whatever my father had after him part of it gets to me depending on how many heirs are there remaining so there is a share that everyone gets so there is an inheritance which we inherit materially that is funds and lands and money and all that uh, after the demise of um, a family member now likewise anbiya also have miras they also leave behind now mirasun nubuwwati indakum all of the prophets they have left behind some things there have been tasks that have been undone by the prophets now those tasks that were undone like for example if my father who passed away if he had some undone duties then like prayers like fast like hajj like finances that he owed to others now those become a liability on the children that they have to pay back the dues and the funds and though that what was wajib on him that is the children they have to that liability transfers to the children and they have to pay back now and all of that it is is on the uh, the first son the uh, the oldest son he has to take that charge 
Now, if the father had prayers that were not done, the oldest son, it is wajib on him, he does it, he has to perform. Likewise, now according to the ruling of Ayatollah Khamenei, he is of the opinion that if the mother also had uh, undone duties, wajibat, like prayers and fast and hajj, the oldest son, he has to do it. Other fuqaha are of a different opinion. Some say that it is not wajib of the duties of the mother to be done by the oldest son. Although it is mustahab uh, uh, that they be done. But Ayatollah Khamenei is of the opinion that both of them, uh, uh, they are binding and wajib uh, on the children, whatever they have undone. So when we say, Mirasun nubuvvati aindakum, now when you uh, on Thursdays when you go to your centers and Ziyarat Waris is being recited you must have heard Assalamu alaykum ya waritha Adama safwatillah ya waritha Nuhin nabiyyillah now we are addressing Imam Hussein Imam Hussein is the son of Abu, Abu Tal, uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib now he is the Imam uh, the third Imam and after a chain of prophethood, that is, 124,000 prophets were sent. The last of them is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. After him, we have an imam, and then we have uh, another imam, Imam Mujtaba, and then we've got the mother of Imam Mujtaba, wife of uh, Amirul Mu'mineen, daughter of Rasulullah, Hazrat Zahra sallallahu alayhi We've got Hazrat Khadija as well, who is the Ummul Mu'mineen and the wife of Rasulullah. Now when we address Imam Hussein, we say, Salam be to you, Ya Aba Abdullah al Hussein, the inheritor of Prophet Adam, and then the inheritor from Prophet Nuh, Ibrahim, Musa, Isa, and then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and then we say the inheritor of Amirul Mu'mineen of Hazrat Khadija of Hazrat Zahra of Imam Hassan and salam be upon you ya Imam Hussein. So what is it that Imam Hussein is inheriting from all of these prophets? That is to say that there have been tasks that were undone by all of the prophets now the reason for them being undone, either their life did not suffice, they did not have that long age, they were killed, or the rulers of that time, the political situations of that time uh, were such that they were not able to perform, they were not able to do or uh, carry on whatever uh, <clears throat> tasks Allah had given to them. So here, all those undone tasks of the prophets, like the undone wajibat of our parents, which need to be done by the oldest son, here all of that is to be done by Imam Hussein. We say that Imam Hussein, you are the one who has inherited all those undone tasks and duties of the prophets, and at the same time, all the moral and spiritual benefits that Allah had given to the prophets, he inherits them as well. Now, in this day and age, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, he inherits everything from everyone. So all of the prophets, all of the Imam, whatever they have undone, he inherits them, both the uh, undone duties and also the beauties that Allah has given to them, both of them, duties and beauties, and bestowals, everything, like the, uh, the miracles that were given to Prophet Isa, miracles that were given to Prophet Musa, to Rasulullah, to all other prophets before them, after them. And now in Farsi they've got this beautiful poem which says, On Chekhuban Hamedaran Tutanha Dari. That is all the beauty that all of the noble and the beautiful Allah gave to them. All of that is with you, the one Imam. And the name of Imam Mahdi also is Ta'usu Ahlil Jannah. Now Ta'us, the peacock, is the most beautiful bird. Now here it says Imam Mahdi alayhi salam is the beauty of those of the heavenly, of the, uh, the, the paradisians or to, them, to those the heaven will be assigned. The most beautiful joy or the most beautiful look that a person would want to see uh, will be the uh, look and a glance at Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wassalam. So when I say 
that is the inheritance of all of the prophets is with you that is the khalq means the creation the creation they all of them they turn to you that is to the imams hisabuhum alaykum and the accountability of all of the actions of all of the nations is upon the imam alayhi salam wa faslul khitab indakum faslul khitab means that ultimate decree the final say the final word is with the imam alayhi salam faslul khitab that is he is the one who will rule out who will decree who will command and it is upon me to take the word of the imam alayhi salam because there is no second opinion when he has said something that is that the ultimate word of the almighty allah tabarak wa ta'ala so assalamu alayka ya bab allah wa dayyana deene salam be upon you the door to allah and the guardian of his religion now this uh, dayyan this attribute this quality belongs to amirul mu'minin uh, as mentioned by rasulullah and after rasulullah uh, after amirul mu'minin to imam mujtaba and then continues and today it is the attribute the quality of imam mahdi alayhi salam as he himself in the ziyarat ali yasin says that when you want to address me say assalamu alayka ya bab allah wa dayyana deene now dayyana deene again the guardian and the custodian and also he is the one um, who will take the account uh, and then he is the one who will reward and he will punish now when we look into the riwayat that we have regarding the day of judgment and the day of qiyama one of the names is yawmul hisab the day of account now you've heard and you've recited quran a lot and in many ayat it says in allah sari'ul hisab sari means fast hisab means in taking an account allah is fast he is swift very fast in one of the surahs of quran that says that uh, in the day of judgment is yawman kana miqdaruhu 50 alf sana that is miqdar the duration of the day is 50000 years so the day of judgment is one day and the duration of that one day is 50000 years now why is it 50000 years that is if my life is to be itemized if i lived for a hundred years and all of my actions from the day uh, it became wajib on me at the age of 15 till the day i died 100 so in these 85 years of my life if allah was to itemize all what he gave me all of his favors and blessings and how much of an investment he had done for that 85 years of my living and what provisions he gave me and what i did in return as actions as my performance and if all of that was to be itemized in detail here riwayat they say that you need 50000 years just to look into every moment every uh, particle of my life so in allah sari al hisab allah he is swift and fast in reckoning in taking an account now on the day of judgment allah he gives the account handling affairs to the angels to the imams to the prophets to the uh, to whoever he wants he gives now in the riwaya that we recited last week says that the task of the nation of rasulullah will be given to rasulullah and rasulullah also he designates these uh, tasks to whosoever he wishes maybe he gives some of them to the prophet to amirul mu'minin some of them to imam mujtaba to, to some of the angels to some of the noble men women 
So all the, that depends upon whatever uh, kind of a team uh, the prophet he makes uh, to take an account of um, now uh, the duration of the day is 50,000 years. For many the believing men and women hadith says the amount of time you use to take to offer your prayers your wajib prayers if for example it took seven minutes so your duration of stay on that day of Qiyamah the duration of which is 50,000 years for you it's going to be seven minutes five minutes three minutes however much time you use to invest in your prayers doesn't mean that we have to cut short and have the shortest of prayers so that we don't stand there for long no you do your prayers to the best of the of your ability to the best of your quality and then the duration of that stay over there will be the amount of time we invested in our prayers now <clears throat> so uh, the imams, the prophet, him litaku nu shuhada ala nas wa yakun al rasul alaykum shahida. So the imams, the prophets, all of them, they are witnesses over our actions. And Rasulullah, because he is the head of the nation, he is a witness over the actions of everyone else. So Rasulullah watches everyone else, and all those other watchful eyes. And witnesses are there in the forms of prophets and imams and they are the ones who will uh, take the charge now hadith says now this is from Imam Sadiq alayhi salam that if the uh, accountability was given to anyone apart from Allah so anyone else if he was to take an, uh, an account then it would be 50,000 years would be required but then if Allah is to take, he is sari al hisab, he is swift in reckoning. Someone comes to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. He says that, Ya Rasulullah, I have come here just to ask you one question. He says that, yes, what is the question? He says, on the day of judgment, who will take an account? Is it going to be God himself or someone else? Rasulullah says God himself, he will take an account. The man, he got happy and then he stood and he went. Others who were present in that majlis, he said that, why did he do that? Just asked a question and he got happy and went. And then when that person was inquired that what made you happy, he says that if God is to take an account, then he is Arhamur Rahimin, then definitely he will be uh, kind and he is kind and he is merciful and compassionate. And if that task was to be given to someone else, then definitely it's not going to be the same scenario. Because now when we look into these riwayat again, uh, Rasulullah on an occasion, um, he said to the Almighty that God, this my nation, there is so much of wrong in them, there is so much of flaw in them, and I don't want to be shy on the day of judgment by you taking an account from them. So allow me, the Prophet, to take the charge, to take an account from all of them so that at least that haya is observed and that shyness will be just mine and then, uh, then uh, it, it wouldn't be an embarrassment before you. Allah says, Ya Rasulullah, I won't even give him the charge to you so that you also be embarrassed. I don't want you to be embarrassed of the actions of your nation. Now this is that mercy of Allah, the Baraka wa Ta'ala, height of compassion and how much he cares for his creation. Now when we look into all of this beauty uh, of Allah, the Baraka wa Ta'ala, and how, how kind he is, to, and it was mentioned in the previous session, uh, I think it was mentioned yeah. or if not I'll just repeat it and that is we've got this rahma and mercy uh, whatever you see in this entire creation that is the caring the love the mercy and compassion like for example a mother has towards her children or between the spouses or between friends between siblings or between uh, 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 even between animals now when a uh, 
when an um, animal is born, you see that the mother, how caring she is, that she doesn't let, let that calf go. She stays there by, by that calf and looks after the calf until that calf uh, becomes stronger. So there is that love and care that is seen in these animals as well. Allah the Almighty says that whatever goodness, kindness, care, mercy, compassion uh, you see in this entire creation and in everyone, says all of that is just one portion of the mercy of Allah that has been distributed in the entire creation, just one portion. And there he says that 99 portions of that remain with me and with that I will judge on the day of judgment. That is 99 portions of that mercy still remain with Allah. Now when we see Rasulullah says that وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْعَالَمِينَ That is وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ That is we haven't sent to you but as mercy to the, to the world. And Allah, He is that Rabbul Alameen who carries all of those 99 uh, portions of that mercy and compassion. So, Rahman, Rahim, Dayyan that we have over here, Assalamu alaykum ya Bab Allah wa Dayyan Adine. So, Bab Allah wa Dayyan Adine, it is Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, and Dayyan is His name. Now, He has given the task. And that affair, uh, the to Rasulullah and Rasulullah has given and that to Amirul Mu'mineen and this day and age it is Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wasalam who is the master and the um, custodian of all of these affairs. Now it, as mentioned in Quran we've got uh, many ayat that talk exclusively about Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. One of them it's in Surah Hud. This is وَلَئِنْ أَخَّرْنَا عَنْهُمُ الْعَذَابَ إِلَىٰ أُمَّةٍ مَعْدُودَةٍ لَيَقُولُنَّ مَا يَحْبِسُهُ أَلَىٰ يَوْمَ يَأْتِيهِمْ لَيْسَ مَصْرُوفًا عَنْهُمْ وَحَاقَ بِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَهْزِئُونَ And if we differ their punishment until a certain time, they will surely say what holds it back. Look on the day it overtakes them. It shall not be turned away from them and they will be besieged by what they used to decide. Now over here in this ayah it says Ila Ummatin Ma'duda. Ummatin Ma'duda says that Allah says we will differ their punishment until a certain time. Now until a certain time, what is that certain time? It says that certain time it is the Ummat in Ma'duda are the Ashab of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Who is he? He is from the descendants of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So this Ummat in Ma'duda, that is those, those, the nation that will come later and that is they are the companions of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. They are the 313 uh, who will serve Imam Mahdi now Imam, uh, Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salatu was salam, he says that uh, it is the rising of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam and the support system that will be rendered to him via the 313. They are the companions of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam and they, they are the ones for that have been mentioned in this ayah that I just recited. Another ayah, it's in Surah Ibrahim, ayah number 5. Says, وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مُوسَى بِآيَاتِنَا أَنْ أَخْرِجْ قَوْمَكَ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ Allah the Almighty says, We sent Musa with our signs and then says, Bring your people out from darkness into light and remind them of Allah's days. That says over here, ذَكِّرْهُمْ بِأَيَّامِ اللَّهِ Remind them of the Days of Allah. In fi dhalikal ayatin likulli sabbarin shakur. In them, there you will find them the signs, and in that for every 
um, patient and grateful. Now over here, uh, Ayyam Allah have been mentioned as three days in Riwayat. First of all, it is the rising of uh, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam is known as Yawmullah, the day when Imam rises. And also Yawmu Raj'at. Raj'at means the return of the Imams. If we if you recall your memories, I don't know if all of you were present in the previous sessions or not. Uh, we did talk on this issue and that is Raj'at. Raj'at, it is the return. We believe that uh, before the Day of Judgment, Allah wa ta'ala, uh, He will bring back Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. That is this era that we are in, it is called the ghaybat kubra that is the era of the major occultation where the Imam is away from us. So Imam has to return. Imam when he returns, he will rule on this earth. And it is going to be for a long time. Uh, now, long time in this Dua Faraj that we recite uh, towards the end of it, we say, وَتُمَتَّعَهُ fiha tawila. That is, he will enjoy a long rule on the surface of this earth because that is the word and the promise of Allah so Imam has to return Imam will rule now there are all these different uh, riwayat that say how long is it going to be the duration of his rule some of these them say 360 years Imam will rule and after the rule of the Imam uh, it will be uh, the shahadat of the Imam Imam will be killed and then the Imams will return. Now who are the Imams that will return? Uh, the first one to return is Imam Hussein alayhi salam and he is the one who will offer the funeral prayers on Imam Mahdi alayhi salam and then it's going to be the era of r r rule and return of Imam Hussein. And Imam Hussein will rule for 40,000 years and so old he will become that hunched and then his eyebrows and eyelashes will be so long that it will be, they'll be falling on his face and he'll be that old and ruling on this uh, earth. So that is going to be the era of Imam Hussein and then other Imams also will return, the Prophet will return. And after the return and rajat of the noble of the Imams that Allah has intended, it is going to be the Day of Judgment. So for the Day of Judgment to take place, Imam Mahdi has to return and after Imam Mahdi, the Imams also, they will return and this, in this ayah that we, that we just meant, we talked about, that is, وَذَكِّرْهُمْ بِأَيَّامِ Allah, Remind them of the um, days of Allah, so that the first day of Allah is the Qiyam and the rising of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam and then it is the return of the Imams after Imam Mahdi alayhi salam and then it is the Day of Judgment which is also known as the Day Yawmullah. So another ayah is وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْضِ الذِّكْرِ أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِثُهَا عِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحُونَ It is written, now this is in Surah Anbiya, ayah number 105 that says that it is written in the book after the reminder. Now the Zabur it's been written after the reminder it's been written uh, that Allah in all the books it has been written Anna al arda that indeed this land, this earth Yarisuha it will be inherited by my righteous servants Yarisuha ibadiya salihun it's the promise of Allah that this earth will be inherited by the noble, by the righteous, and Imam Mahdi is the one that has been that is being addressed in this ayah. So return of Imam Mahdi is definite, and this was the third ayah we talked about. Now another ayah that says that as in lil ladina yuqataluna bi annahum. ظلموا وإن الله على نصرهم لقدير أذن للذين يقاتلون بأنهم ظلموا وإن الله وإن الله على نصرهم لقدير. That is, uh, Allah has uh, 
um, has promised in this ayah that those who have been um, oppressed and then they have been permitted to fight and to rise uh, now then says Allah will definitely help them now who are they that Allah will definitely help them who were oppressed who have been who are deemed as Muslim and uh, um, as Mustadaf that the Almighty says my support is definite now when you look back into that first uh, uh, masala that I mentioned regarding the inheritance uh, that what we inherit uh, from our fathers and then the prophets they inherit from their from their ancestors and the successors they inherit from the from the prophet before them so imam mahdi he has inherited now because these undone tasks of the prophets they need to be done like for example prophet isa he lived only for 30 years 28 years he also had so many wishes and he uh, some aspirations uh, rega regarding serving deen but he could not he was taken to the skies imam hussein wanted to do a lot but he was killed rasulullah wanted to serve but that uh, life did not suffice amirul mu'mineen wanted to establish a rule globally but then they killed him so whatever he wanted to do was incomplete was undone so these undone tasks of all of the prophets and the imams and the noble they uh, will be brought back to life in the era of rajat where those undone tasks they will be completed and done so when we also have a wish have a desire to do certain things and then but life doesn't suffice we also leave but if you had that desire that you want to be among those who want to serve the Imam alayhi salam when the Imam returns Allah will bring you back so that is uh, a wish that we have and Allah will honor and fulfill that wish as well now another ayah is Surat Saf ayah number 8 yuriduna li yutfi'u nur Allah bi afwahihim wallahu mutimmu nurihi walau karihal kafirun that is they desire to put out the light of Allah with their mouths but Allah will perfect his light through the faithless should although the faithless they would be against it so Allah when he says that uh, Wallahu mutimmu nurihi, Allah he will perfect his light Allah will fulfill his command and Allah will enlighten the existence of the Imam alayhi salam that is the word of Allah you find it in surah Saf ayah number 8 and there are many more ayat like for example huwa alladhi arsala rasulahu bil huda wa deen al haq now allah has sent the prophet uh, with guidance wa deen al haq and a, a religion that is true why has he sent that why did he send the prophet li yudhhirahu ala deen kullih so that this deen and this prophet uh, he is established and every one on every uh, in every corner of this uh, world he gets the message now if we look into this world today there are about 8 billion people living does everyone know about this deen of Allah definitely not does ev everyone recognize and know Rasulullah definitely not so Allah has said that is everyone must know this deen and everyone must know this religion and must know this Rasul so Allah he doesn't lie we say he spoke the truth so if he's spoken the truth and it hasn't materialized today and the message hasn't reached everyone and everyone doesn't know the Prophet so Allah doesn't lie and this hasn't taken place so when will it take place it will take place in the era of Rajat when the Imams they return so that is that era where this word of Allah will be fulfilled it will materialize and everyone will get to know who um, the Prophet is and what the religion of Allah is now one last ayah is that it's the last ayah of Surah Al-Mulk in Surah Al-Mulk the last ayah says قُلْ أَرَأَيْتُمْ إِنْ أَصْبَحَ مَاءُكُمْ غَوْرًا فَمَنْ يَأْتِيكُمْ بِمَاءٍ مَعِينٍ 
that is say tell them if these waters that we have on the surface of this earth if they were to sink into the ground who will bring them back who will bring back this running water who will bring back this uh, this crystal clear pure pure water over here and they say the, the, what we have been mentioned is Imam Riza alayhi salam he says ma ukum means abwa bukum that is who will return back these waters means ma over here water means the doors and who are the doors it is the imams alayhi salam in this ziyarat we just said assalamu alayka ya bab allah wa dayya nadine salam be upon you the door of allah and the guardian the custodian of his religion so imam has been mentioned in quran as water water has been mentioned in quran that is uh, uh, yeah yeah fil, uh, yeah the hayat is due to water life is due to water so life is due to water and then imam has been mentioned as water so life is due to the imam so life is due to water so my living my livelihood livelihood of everything that is living is due to the imam alayhi salam and he has been mentioned as the bab or the abwab imams they are the doors and imam mahdi alayhi salam he is the door so when i say faman yatikum bima in ma'in who will bring back that water uh, when it is when everything sinks in this earth so that is the imam alayhi salatu wassalam now regarding the this ayah that this phrase that we just mentioned the job description and designation of there's another hadith it's very beautiful and just keep that in your mind that the uh, we mentioned that allah he is swift in reckoning sari al hisab quick he is and the day of judgment it is 50000 years and the job description and designations that allah has given on the day of judgment the old soul authority is with rasulullah now rasulullah says ya ali uh, i will be by the pond by the hawza kawthar the pond of kawsar so rasulullah is present there so that is in the heaven and then he says you ya ali your designation over there would be that you will be quenching and providing water to everyone who will be there by the pond and then says hasan you will be the support system that is you will be providing the support to all those who will be present so that the situation is all organized just like a team that is working hand in hand and then says hussein you will be the commander there will be billions of people over there rasulullah will be present as the whole sort of authority amirul mu'minin will be quenching uh, the mu'minin with water now just to bring, uh, just uh, uh, to make you uh, more happy that amirul mu'minin salamullah alayh the days that we are in Uh, are the days of wilayat and fast we are approaching and coming to ghadir one of the sincere servants of amirul mu'minin is allama amini allama amini he was uh, an iranian turkish alim uh, and living in uh, najaf he wrote a book uh, and took 40 years for him to compile in 40 volumes and the book is called al ghadir a beautiful book and the topic is only on al on ghadir of uh, amir al mu'minin salamullah alayh now he wrote this book and so many other tasks and services he had provided leading prayers worship his own worship writing books and then all the other services that he provided during his life his son says that after the demise of my father that is marhum amini now he died in 1960s i believe in 66 says that when he passed away the third day i saw him and i asked him father 
all these services that you provided, all this worship of yours, teaching, writing, educating, everything, whatever you had done throughout your life. He says, I want to know that how Amirul Mu'mineen has rewarded you. He says that I saw that he is by the pond of Kawsar. Amirul Mu'mineen as Rasulullah mentions that he is the one who quenches, that is, provides water by the pond. There, Amirul Mu'min, there's a queue, a big line of people who are there to be served and Amirul Mu'mineen has a cup in his hand and with that cup he provides water to everyone who comes and when it is his turn. says, Allama Amini came to him, it is his turn now. When Ami Allama Amini comes, Amirul Mu'mineen, the cup that he had in his hand, he puts it down, says, rolls his sleeves and then he dips his two Mubarak hands in that pond of Kawsar and then gives the water to Allama Amini with his two Mubarak hands. Says that you enlightened me in, that, uh, in dunya and now I will enlighten you and provide waters to you in the Akhirah. So that is how Ahlul Bayt pay back to whoever serves them to whatever manner and that was Allama Amini. So Amirul Mu'mineen, his designation, Rasulullah says that you will provide, you will quench and provide waters by the pond of Kawsar. Imam Hassan will be the supporter, and then Imam Hussein will be the commander. Ali ibn al Hussein, he will be the leader. Imam al Sajjad, Muhammad ibn Ali will be the distributor. Jafar ibn Muhammad, Imam al Sadiq alayhi salam, will be the guide in the heaven. And Prophet Mu uh, Imam Musa ibn Ja'far alayhi salam, he will be counting the mu'mineen, the, believer, the believers, and he will have the database of how many mu'mineen and believers are there, how many hypocrites and how many enemies were there, and how they will be pounded. Ali ibn Musa, that is Imam Riza alayhi salam, he will be the one who beautifies and who adorns the mu'mineen in the heaven. Imam Muhammad ibn Ali, he will be the one who will check you in into your chambers in the heaven. Ali ibn Muhammad, that is Imam Jawad, the 10th Imam, he will be the one who will be reciting your nikah, your aqib, your khutbiqun, your, your nikah with the huris in the heaven. And he, Imam Jawad, he will be the nikah reciter. Imam Askari alayhi salam, he will be the uh, light of the heaven, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, he will be the Shafi'ah and he will be the one who will be interceding and helping mu'mineen who have shortfalls in their amal to get them into the heaven for them to be forgiven. So here when we say As-salamu alayka ya bab Allah wa dayyana deenah Salam be upon you, that is Imam Mahdi. Bab Allah, the door to Allah. Wadayyana Dine, the custodian and the guardian, the whole soul authority who will punish and will reward, it is you, the Imam, alayhi salatu wassalam. May Allah, the Barakat Allah, count us all among the best of the servants and believers of the Imams, alayhi salam, this love, this mahabbat, this bond that we have with the Imams, alayhi salam never ever be taken away from us may that be here in this dunya barzakh or qiyamah ya allah association of the noble with the noble be given to us here in this world and in the hereafter ya allah our children to be enlisted among the best of the lovers supporters and obedient to the imam alayhi salam ya allah those who have passed away forgive them elevate their ranks those who have requested for du'as, whatever du'as and hajat they may be having by Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wasalam, all their problems and all their hajat be given and granted to Islam, Muslims, Allah, give honor, height and might and to those who have stood against Islam and Muslimin, Allah, remove them from the surface of this earth. Wa'adzil fi faraji mawlana sahib al-zaman for all mu'mineen and mu'minat wa subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon 
وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعجل فرجهم If you have any questions so far, 